first of all, movies matter, art matters, artists matter, movie makers matter. They're important. They're not just a distraction. It's not just, you know, for some relaxation. It is because we as human beings have this unique capacity to self-reflection. And in times of crisis, we, we always risk losing that. And then seeing the other human being as an enemy, as a danger to ourselves. But movies, like art in general, invite us to see the perspective of somebody else. And placing yourselves in somebody else's shoes, this uniquely human capacity, is necessary if we want to have a peaceful society. So this is not just about a distraction. It's not just about having fun at the movies. It's about an essential human capacity. The Magnitude of All Things is a film I will never forget. Uh, first of all, it's beautifully shot with uh, some of the most beautiful scenes in nature. But what I liked about it most is that it links um, um, very personal experiences with global developments. Um, if, if somebody has cancer, if one of your loved ones has cancer, that's the biggest thing in your life. That's the magnitude of it. Um, and um, if you then relate that to loss, to the risk of losing someone, and then you, you go to a situation where people look at landscapes and say, this is, we're losing this. This is not going to be like this in the future. So then the magnitude is, for the personal experience, exactly the same. But the global consequences of that mag magnitude are much bigger. So what I, what I really loved about this, this film is that it, it points to why we need to change. Uh, because in my job, we're always busy um, showing how we can change, what we need to do. But if you want to convince the public of the necessity, they first need to know why. And once people know why, the how becomes secondary. If people don't know really why, the how be becomes primary, and then you start debating whether you want a nuclear power plant or not, or windmills or not. But these are just instruments. We need to go back to the why first. Well, one of the most worrying developments in our society is the fact that we lose the capacity to critical thinking. Uh, I think that has to do with all the turmoil we're in, but especially with um, the um, uh, revolution going on with IT, information technology, and, and, and the internet, etc. It is diminishing our capacity to critical thinking. Now, what movies do is they, they force you, in a very nice way, to self-reflect. It, it is giving you an image of humanity, of human beings, with, with which you, can, you confront your own life with what you see. And that leads to self-reflection. And self-reflection is the first step to critical thinking. So in that sense, the arts in general, uh, but films more particularly, because the threshold for films very often is much lower than, uh, than other art forms, uh, films can help us rediscover the beauty of critical thinking through self-reflection. And I think this is essential in a day and age where the whole world is going to change.